Hi, friends. Hi. Today's April 12th. I forgot to look up which floss tube number this is. But like 16 or 17, something yeah, like that. That does not matter. But no. anyway. Here we are. Yes. Happy Easter for those who celebrate. So Happy Easter. Yes. Oh, and I'm wearing a special t-shirt. Oh. Oh. I don't know if you can read it. Can you read it? Um, yeah, the rainforest. The rainforest, Quinault, Washington. That's where we're, gonna, where we're gonna have our West Coast retreat. Oh, okay. It's one of the best places on earth. Okay. Is that that near Bainbridge Islands? Uh, it's actually not. It's it's several hours west on the coast area. Okay. Yeah. Anyway. Okay. Enough about that. Yeah. And we have a few corrections to make from we last do? week. Yes. Really? Because we were called out. I don't know if you saw it, but thanks again for all the wonderful comments. But yeah. we were called out on the visitors to the inn. We did not include Barb and Alma. Oh, I know. Oh. Shame on us. Why? Because we just assume that they're going to be there because whenever we're at a thing that we're making up in our head, kind of thing, yeah, they're heading they're, it. But we I forgot know. to say that. Yes, we did. And we were called out on it. So. Rightly but, so. Rightly yes. so. Yeah. And then there were a few questions. So I'm just going to, I um, kind of wrote them down. I wanted to be prepared. Aren't you organized? I was thinking but, of doing that, but I did not. Let's not go there. Somebody asked about uh, fiber or fabric and what makes Zweigart and um, when we talk about Zweigart based and blah, blah, blah. Zweigart is just a manufacturer. A lot of dyers use it as their base fabric. And you can tell is Weigart fabric by the little orange reddish that runs through the salvage. There's Cashel, which is 28, Belfast is 32, Edinburgh is 36, and Newcastle is 40. I don't know what the other ones are, but that's what Kingston. makes Kingston. What? Kingston. Oh, okay. Yeah. Any um Dyer, or you can just buy regular Belfast or regular Newcastle or anything, Zweigart base. Anyone that uses that, their fabric is just the holes are good, the texture is good. It just makes such a difference. Um, and for me personally, if it's Zweigart based, it's a good fabric. So that's the difference. And Weeks Dye Works just started doing that last year, and that's why we talk about the Zweigart base weeks because they did not have that previously and now that they do they're I love their fabric so anyhow. yeah their colors were yeah, always yeah. wonderful you know beautiful beautiful and uh lakeside that's all they used was so it's Weigart and R and R uses a mixture but a lot of their fabric is Weigart based as well so um and I think picture this bus is Weigart based Someone asked whether we use a hoop, a frame, a stand, stitch in hand, so on and so forth. I use a hoop. Um, I have used Q snaps. I have used a frame. Um, I use a hoop and it's poke and stab, poke and stab. I've tried the sewing method. I can't do it. I've done it when I've done some hard hanger stuff, but I can't do it for regular stitching. I'm the old poke and stab. So, what do you, you use a Q snap, right? Yes, and then I poke and stab. So, hey, whatever makes you happy. What? Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Okay. Yes, you may. yes, please. <laughs> Technical question because on my screen right now, we just went a little darker than it was. Does everything look the same and normal to you? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Well, then I will just continue on. Yes, we'll continue oh. on. Okay. Um, someone also asked about magnifiers. We've done, um, I use a magnifier, Laura uses one. I recommend the daylight. There goes the cuckoo. More cuckoo. <laughs> Anyhow, I use a daylight uh, magnifier, a uh, big floor stand upstairs and downstairs. Um, just whatever. Don't not do it because you don't want to use a magnifier and you can't see it. If it makes your life better, use one. And there's a plethora of them out there to use, whether you use a clip on one or or those mag eyes. Exactly. Yeah. 
definitely. And mm -hmm. use whatever will make it easier for you to see your work. So don't stop stitching because you don't want the to use a magnifier. That's silly. <laughs> In a good light. You have to use have a good light, like an yeah. light or mm -hmm. something like that. So anyways, mm -hmm. I think those were most of the questions. If we missed one, it's always bad um, going back and doing the questions. So you're yes, very good. Them. Um, yeah, I did, you know, I try to answer every comment, but since we've been doing this every week and we're still going to work every day, I haven't been able to get to them, but someday I will. And I love those comments. They are so yeah. just talk about uplifting. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for taking the time to comment. Yeah. Because I know that takes time. I don't, I, you know, I watch a lot of floss tube and don't comment. Naughty. Speaking of which, did you, have you watched the Stitching with Reese one? I just, you know, I got up late this morning. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, shockingly. And um, I just saw that there is a new one. So I'm excited. Yes. She, I did not complete it. Okay. I am about halfway through. Mm -hmm. But there is a project, you know, it's either Blame Carol Mm -hmm. with Friday's episode mm -hmm. or today stitching with Reese mm -hmm. and then Nicole's um yeah. the one that she that was fun very fun. Mm -hmm. and there's a new one out there I want to talk about that Christy recommended and that is stitching in Idaho with uh Shanda I think is her name and if you love quilting and prim um stitching it's, have you watched her? Not yet. I when Christy mentioned that I put her on my list. I went back and watched like she's had she's got tons of videos out, but only like the last four or five are what she calls floss tube, mm -hmm. and they're really good. And she's oh, got good. a very soothing voice, and her stitching's beautiful, and her mm -hmm. quilts are mm -hmm. incredible. And she lives along the Great Continental Divide fun and the pictures that she shows are incredible her wow. views are incredible so check her out folks I will. Uh, her name's shanda and it's stitching in idaho yeah so, anyhow. yeah and gary and Donna are as we speak doing like a four hour live thing with lots of giveaways well i guess by the time people watch this that'll be old news but i mean today's a big floss tube day yes it is it is it would so. be a big baseball day but nope anyway well, and there's no family today i am cooking dinner my daughter's coming to pick it up to, to some to-go containers for her and her roommate so <laughs> what are you making i'm making ham and mm. scalloped potatoes mm -hmm. and green beans and rick's making a lime tart so wow. yeah you do you need to come pick up some leftovers too <laughs> i might i might come up with a few threads i need and some leftovers there you go <laughs> dry pie. How about, how's the tab situation i am down to one can of tab at home you're going to need the emergency one here. Yeah. Well, no, I'll keep that there. Um, so I have Diet Coke as a backup. Okay. Anyway. Okay. Let's so what talk about happened? stitching. Yes. Um, I, let me just say that I am currently in a dither. Why? I have started 8,000 things. I've <laughs> lit it about between many. I'll show them to you. And what I need from you today is marching orders. Okay. You're going to decide what I'm going to work on at least through Wednesday. Okay. I can do that. All right. Now, I also want you to take into account whatever Reese showed today that you saw. <laughs> if I have it and I go watch yeah. it, you might want to give me that as my marching order. Okay. All right. So please keep that in mind. Okay. okay. All right. So do you want to start and show us what you've been working yes. on? Yes. I felt the same way as you did. I had a come to Jesus meeting with myself this week because I had too many things started and I needed to finish um, one thing in particular. So I pulled it back out, put my big girl pants oh, on yeah. 
and I pulled it back out and I am going to finish this before I do anything else. And I also had, yeah, very mature. <laughs> I also decided that what was keeping me from finishing it were the over one sheep and I don't even want to go there. They're done. My sheep are done. And that is this, Sarah Stewart Hardiman. I have, um, this is where I'm at. It's amazing. And I have the grass to fill in, the house to finish up, and the there's one regular sheep bin right over here. I don't know if you can see it. I can't see them. Mm -hmm. yeah we can but see them anyways there and there's three there would be three more little sheep well no more little sheep there's yeah not. there's no need for that no nope. and i have the border i worked on this whole border yesterday wow. down here which took a long time Are those and like i have roses? the bottom. yeah and they're they're different colors mm. that come down here so um Beautiful. anyways i will finish this up and then i will um, send it off to total framing and beautiful I love it and if you really want to see a gorgeous finish of it go to on Instagram to Rosalie Colby and she has one hers is done completely framed with all the sheep and it is stunning <laughs> just stunning so check it out check it out so then I just went through all my. Oh, do you want to say what you've been working on, or no? Mm -mm. I mean, because my. I mean, I need your help, so it's gonna. Okay. It's gonna okay. be so, up the process. Okay. So then I just went through all my stuff, and I watched Carol's video. Keep that in mind, uh, mm -hmm. because Carol, <laughs> if Carol Saulbach Stitcher, if you haven't watched her latest one, it's amazing, and she had a great idea for the rest of her samplers are going to have red houses in them. So I thought, well, that's a genius idea. So I went through my stash and I found one that she pulled out and this is really Oh. Awesome. Yeah, you have it. I know I do. And this is the color palette from Country Sampler. Did you get the, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. This will be my next start, I think, I think. I then am going to go back to, do you want me to spoil it with uh, Reese a little bit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I went back, Reese showed this this morning, and I'm like, oh, because the girls got like half of it done. And this has the red house in there. And Reese oh. has the right side done over here, and it is gorgeous. So I need to get back to this too. This is amazing. And you have that too. So, Wait a minute. Have you been working on it? No, but, oh, but when I started it. Yeah, see, that's beautiful. Yeah. You have more done than the last time. Oh. Yeah, that's pretty. Okay, all right. Yeah, Reese showed it and I'm like, oh, I gotta pull that out. So it's it'll amazing. be between, yeah, Jane, what's that though? And these colors. I know. Oh my God. Okay. So, yeah. So, and then I got a, remember last week we were talking about the dye locks and all that. And here's my new harvest basket. Is which it good? Is my, yeah. It's much oh, yellower. So you need to make sure you have a yellow harvest basket. So. And then I have some stuff, some red houses. If you want me to keep going, I'll keep going. Yes, so go. I went through some of mine. This one, Carol showed this one. This is Bird Song by okay. Samplers Not Forgotten. I love that. Do you have this one? Yes. From Country Sample. Have a kid it? Yep. Oh, then here's another one. Remember when we were going hog wild? M.A. Badger. 
the attic had this, I want to say done. And there's a red house and it's beautiful. Um, this is something we need to, to get this done. Yeah. yeah. Then when you showed this. Oof, I have that pulled out too. I know. And what's the matter with us? We've looked at this when we go there. We need to I get know. that done. The and the attic just had a video and they showed all of Linda's uh, works, which are amazing. Yes. And there's DMC. It calls for Gloriana silk, but you could use DMC. Yeah. I also, I have a um, dyed conversion for that. Oh, you do? Mm -hmm. I don't know how I got it. I think I got oh. it then at the okay. attic when I bought it. Well, those are the only ones I pulled out right now. That okay. were different. So, anyhow, that's all I've got. Really? Oh, uh, she wrote today. Okay. I, well, then my other, so we need to do a therapy session then. Yes. Okay. So let me give you. Let me get my cap on here. Mm -hmm. So the goal is to pick out something that I can stay monogamous, Miss. Okay. <laughs> I already know what I want to choose. So you do. Yeah, I do. Okay. All right. Well, let's start then and see what's what. Yes, let me see the choices. Let me see if that's one of them. Yeah, I, and I'm going to tell you the story of my week, not in order, though, because that's how in a dither I am. So last night, at like 7 o'clock at night, I started this. What? <laughs> what? Yeah, because my friend Michelle what? Wilson of Sacramento, California, had started it. So I was like, oh, okay. I had it oh, all. Okay. I mean, it's not a big start, but so it was on Heartland, 36 count, picture this plus mm -hmm. with the call for everything. And um, I will say, I, I don't really want to be monogamous with it right now. Okay. That would not have been my choice, though, because okay. I didn't even know it is that you were. <laughs> it was in your queue. Yeah. My queue is. Oh, then Rhonda of Gypsy Jane Designs uh in mississippi yeah yep uh she had a great instagram post this week and it showed three charts that we love one of them was i know i know yes so yesterday during the day i got this out fully intending to build a complete and total red house but you know that was I, oh oh to, to the side of eve i started building some windows Mm-hmm. Very nice. That looks good, Laura. I love yeah. that function. This tree. is on um Old Town Blend R and R 40 count, which ooh, I love. I think I need to order like a yard of it when it Yes, you should. Yes. Mm -hmm. We you need a yard. It's always good to have backup. That's a perfect sampler color. It's perfect. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay, then oh, I gotta say, okay, this is yeah, we're on a dither. Uh, then let me just tell you that this week coming to me is the stuff to do this. Thank goodness. <laughs> and the stuff to do this. Oh, I know. Did you see who finished that? Someone finished it. Um, it's beautiful. I can't remember, but I'm going to do what Carol's. I'm not putting that part in. I agree. I agree. Carol um, has some genius ideas on Friday. Yeah. And I'm going to be doing it on 40 count vintage beeswax by r, &R. Yeah. So yeah, the, the one that we saw was done on that. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, I told Heidi Cran I was going to start Hollyhocks and I didn't yet, but I do have all the stuff to do that. Okay. What fabric are you going to use for it? Uh, I don't know. Okay. I have the threads. I don't know what fabric. I got tons of them. You know, I can use stuff. Got it. Didn't know if you had pulled some. I got the threads for this. That's beautiful. Okay, now back to what I have. Oh, I thought of putting this in the mix. I haven't worked on it in a long time. It's the lady in red spinning her wool. Yeah, that's beautiful. And I don't know if I have. When I started this, I said to myself, you are just stitching on this till it's done. <laughs> you don't listen to yourself. And you got I a nice do. start. Yeah, it's a nice little start. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's that in my general bag. Okay, I'm putting this back because this is a mess over here, what I've got out. 
But I'm not, not there to help you well, clean it up. What? I'm not there to help you retack everything. I know. <laughs> I've seen oh. somebody working on this. Yeah. It's called New Every Day. Mm -hmm. New Every Morning, sorry. Of heart string samplery. And I love it. And I haven't worked on it in a long time. It's beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay, so there's that. Are you taking notes? No, because you I don't need to, do you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Had I started this before last time we talked? No. No, I hadn't started. You were going to start it. Yeah. Okay. So I got the stuff. I got, what did I get? I got R&R &R Espresso 40 count. Isn't that amazing? Mm, smells good. Okay. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, is that it? Okay. I can deal with that. Uh, I started Mary Bars. Oh. oh. That might be a ding dong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I didn't get very far on that either. Oh, that's so pretty. Yeah. So pretty. You're doing that on vintage light exemplar, right? Correct. I think I love you that. all right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, and then I pulled one more thing just this morning because I'm crazy. This okay. one start because I started it on 32. Oh. Right. Okay, so, two by so what fabric are you going to want to change it to? I don't know, something 40. Okay. Yeah, um, and then I'll have to do something with this. Okay, oh, oh, I know what you could do with that. You could chop that <gasps> off. Yeah. Drum made, a uh, big drum. Oh, yeah, good job, good idea. All right, now, um, before you make up your mind, which you already did, but uh, do, you know, any of the things that you showed, Maybe those should be it. I have all of them. I know. Well, I really, really, really like that. Consider the lilies. I mean, Nicole's progress on I it. I know. It's just amazing. And Christy's progress on it is amazing. You've got a nice start there. The colors are beautiful. That would, that would, my choice. Okay. Stick with it till Wednesday. Yeah. Okay. You can get a lot of little motifs done yeah. and the colors and. Yeah. Because the next thing I could work on, I don't know if you can see it, is this big flower thing. Oh, yeah. That would be fun for today. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's what I'll I think. Do. And the, the espresso with those colors is so pretty. Yeah. It's really, I mean, it's such a nice big piece too. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, it smells good. Right? cut. I love that. Did you see, speaking of R&R, &R, did you see Pat's finish yesterday of the collaboration? Oh, I did. I love that. It was a collaboration between Beth Twist and Paulette Stewart. Yes. Did it all yes. in one piece. Yeah, with and her and hands initials. Yes, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah. And I wonder when um, it's finished, if they'll make it a long, like, um, cylinder type pillow or if they'll fold it over one half. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't think I like a long cylinder one. That would make sense because yeah, joined yeah. together closely. Right. Right. I like that. So, all right. So you're going to work on Sarah that are, and I'll yeah. work on me. Yeah. I wish that I could stay home and <laughs> just stitch. However, yeah, I love the that. breadwinner. What? I, yeah, well, <laughs> be that as it may for now. I think, though, because the tax season, the tax season, is pushed to July, even though we have big um, deadlines still coming up at the end of the April because they haven't extended those, I am going to start taking my Fridays off. At least Thank this you. Friday, for sure, Good. we'll kind of hit and miss. So. But I am counting on this Friday. So. Okay, that's a good idea. And maybe Sarah will get some... You know, that fill-in on the grass. Takes a Put on a good movie or something. 
Yeah. One Netflix suggestion for yeah. It. It's yeah. called Patrick. It's a light romantic comedy about a girl and her dog. Oh, right up my alley. It's really cute. Really okay. cute. Okay. Um, her dog. It's her. She got gets her dog from her grandma passed away and Patrick is a pug and so I wanted to say to Jenny who um, she has pugs and her pug Nell passed away and yeah. so um, I thought of her when I watched the movie but I think um, I think everybody would really like it okay good because you can't watch the news um, all day every day no, no. you got to turn it off so radio Stay in I'm, form, hoping I, but. I'm hoping I can convince Mike to watch Stitching with Reese right now. Yes, yes, definitely. Did you watch Nicole's Needlework yesterday? I did. That's why I consider the lilies as slight. Okay, yeah, I, I always wonder, I mean, the, she started in the bottom right, and the bottom right looks really fun, and I contemplated doing it, but I never have started down there because I I don't really know how to go up like that. I mean, I, I but it just, it, I, you know, I'm spatially challenged, so. I think you have a nice group of motifs yeah. up there to keep going, so, yeah. All right, and oh, and the, the other thing I wanted to say was, I want to put everything else, like, away upstairs and just have one thing down here, and maybe I'm going to look for M.A. Badger just to look at it. Yeah. Yeah, because that's, um, I don't think the picture does this one. No, justice. it does not. We know that yeah. in the model. That's, yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. So call the attic people if you want that one. Yeah, we'll yeah. I think, yeah, watch, the, watch their videos because they, sh they show a lot of beautiful things. And um, right, lovely. and they, they uh, really focus on uh, samplers remember. Sampler. Linda Danielson. Samplers remembered, yeah. 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 And there was um Lucy Snushaw, which looked beautiful. Mm -hmm. uh, Prudence Pairing, yeah. which is blues and just really beautiful. Luz Gonzalez. Yes. Which is amazing. Yes. Um, yes. The one there was the pretty pair that you just showed. Uh-huh. Yeah, she's got some. And there was a an Easter sampler that was beautiful and a Christmas one. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so go watch that video and look at Linda's. Yeah. Alice Bearton, the red sampler. Oh, yes. Net Bovey. Mm. Long and narrow. You yes. Yes. Yeah. All right. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> I just want to show um, a couple mm. of things. Do we have time? Yeah. How are we doing on time? Okay. I don't know. I haven't paid no. attention, but we're still recording, so. Okay, I didn't know if they had a timer up there. It does. Um, a lot of people don't know what to do when they are at home and they want something different to do. And I have stitched a lot of punch needles, done a lot of punch needles, it's been years, but I want to just show some finishes and go out there and watch YouTube because Brenda Gervais has a YouTube video on punch needle. Lori Brecklin from That Forgotten Farm has one, and the old tattered flag has um, videos on punch needle and it's instant satisfaction it goes so quickly and you can have some finishes and it's something different you don't need a magnifier you you need a light but it's just much simpler than hauling everything out for stitching sometimes so here are just some fun things that i've done years ago that is sweet. This is, used to be finished differently, and I ripped it off, and now it's just kind of hanging out until I figure out what, what to do with it. This is by uh, Brenda Gervais, and her patterns are beautiful. They're, they come stamped on muslin, and she uses Valdani threads, which are give it all this um, variation, variation color. Yeah. So are you saying that when you get stuff from her, you don't have to trace anything? Mm -mm. Oh, mm -mm. that's a huge yeah. piece. Yes, very huge. And she hasn't done any punch needle in a while, but I think these are still offered through her website. Um, and I'm not sure. I used to get the, she offered the kits of the Valdani with it. I don't know if she still does that, but I think the patterns are at least still available. And then this one. <laughs> wool 
And I just finished it like that. These are just, and the one thing about this is they're very primitive. Um, don't worry about being perfect, but see this red, this background, that's the variation, but it's all one color. Just fun. And this. Oh, that's so a cool. Little witch. Again, a little bag, but. And then, um, oh, here's some others. Again, I ripped this off a of finish. I had Peter Cottontail. Oh, look at mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. these. These are all by Brenda. Then Lizzie Kate had some at one mm. time. And I had these mounted on this over dyed wall um, by my frame, uh, Welcome Stitchery. Crystal Lake did that. And then <clears throat> this one is by mm. the Old Tattered Flag. And they are in New York. Um, upstate New York and they have an online website and she specializes in rug hooking and punch needle and her stuff is fabulous she is the bought the rights to um, the cameo punch needle hmm. and you can get it from her and her stuff all comes kitted if you want it and here's a pattern and hers also comes pre uh, punch or not pre punch. The design is printed on the fa fabric very, very clearly. See? Oh, that's great. And then all the threads are in here. Hmm. And it's very reasonably priced. Very, very reasonably priced. And I just, I've done some, several of her designs. The old tatter flag right there. Dot that's com. nice. And Teresa Kovit has a bunch of... Yes, she does. Hers are incredible. I've never done one of hers, but she has some beauty. She's such an artist. So mm -hmm. um, here's some others by Brenda. Oh, I love that one. And here's how... See, these are all the threads. Sorry, I'm not picking them up. And yes, someone I was watching yesterday says about the crinkling sound. I love the crinkle sound. Do you like the crinkle sound? I do. I do. Okay. I just, I love the drama that you're bringing forth. And <laughs> crinkles. Yes. I like crinkles. it. I do. And then here's one I started. Um, say coming through. Yeah, pumpkin lady. Yeah, pumpkin lady. Here's all the threads. Oh, nice. And here's, you work from the back side. Um, so it looks like this on the back side, and then underneath is where your stuff will be. Wow, remember when you gave uh lessons on how to do this? Yes, I know. No one here. I'm just gonna, if anyone's really interested, I'll just give you a couple point pointers, and that is you can use this punch needle. I don't, I prefer. Um, these, you can get them, I know Silver Needle has them, they're called CRT Punch Needles, and they're smaller, here's a red one, this is a three strand one, then they have a one strand, which is the blue one, and they have a six strand, which is the black one, and that means how many strands are allowed to go in the needle itself and all of Brenda's are done with three strands old tattered flag uses six strands but and she recommends obviously this and that's what most people use is this cameo ultra punch so here you want to see some more this one mm. is by little house needleworks years and years ago probably 15 to 18 years ago and mounted on the red wool. Oh, red wool, that's cool. And then these are by Brenda. There's that cuckoo clock again. Oh, that's wool farm. So gorgeous. And two more. The robin. That's perfect for now. Yeah, I love that. I did these, I put them on the wall and I glued them. 
So <clears throat> don't all die if I glued them. These are not heirloom pieces at all. So I just glued them on there. This is That's vibrant. Beautiful. My my tip for doing punch needle is you have to have you have to have a Morgan hoop because it has a um, hold on a little gripper thing here. So when you put your muslin in here like that, it has to be drum tight. I mean, like you can't. It oh, has I heard to it. Be yeah, so the, <laughs> the loops stay, because you don't knot this. You just start and stop. You, there's no knotting or anything. Um, that would be my only tip. Drum tight, and it should be a Morgan hoop. You can get stands for them um, or hold them. But anyhow, something different if you're interested in some prim, um, something different to do. And this, you could beautiful. finish one of these in less than a week. No question about it, because it moves so fast, so fast. These are great beginner kits, um, the old tattered flag. I yeah, think Teresa nice. oh. did this one. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Anyhow, something to, different. <laughs> that's that. I'll need a little variation. Yes. Just in, you know. I could never get tired of stitching all day, but some people want to do something different. Some people quilt, some people do wool applique. I just got a little tired of like indecision and like I just needed the law laid down. So the marching orders. So I have my marching orders. You have to get the good a good portion of that top one done. Okay. You can do that. Yeah, I'll do that. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go, I'm gonna go yeah. do it now. Yes, yes. And then if you keep enjoying it, keep going, move over to the left or go down. Okay. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Are you going to pull out any kind of small or something? No, because that would defeat the purpose. If I did, it would be that one by Tanya with the lady walking dogs. But no. Oh, okay. Well, I watch BC. Yeah, I will. She no, I mean, she's working on something that you started, and you oh. might want to go back to that. Oh, okay. That's so, exciting. but don't don't be tempted until Thursday. So, okay. Keep keep All right. going. All right. Well, I guess I'll report back next week. I mean, you'll know before then, but okay. report back next week. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Well, are you going to just stitch this afternoon? As opposed to. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we could go for a walk or something, but no, I'm sure I'll be just stitching. Yeah. You, you're cooking, stitching. I'm doing a little bit of cooking. Nothing, yeah. it's not fancy and yeah. stitching. So, okay. yeah. Yeah. All right. It'll be a nice, quiet day. So. Yes. Okay, everyone. Thank you. All right. Well, we'll see you guys you. next Sunday. And hopefully, all of you have your projects sorted out. If anyone needs marching orders, let us know. Brenda can give yes. you. <laughs> I'm good at telling people what to do, right? Yeah, in a good way. <laughs> oh, okay. My I appreciate it. So, so. Well, you know, that's a whole different uh, dynamic. That's right. Than the one we've got going. <laughs> yes. Stitching. I can handle yeah. that. So. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Have a great Sunday, everyone. And thank yeah. you. Hope you, everyone's staying well. Be safe. Yes. Bye. Okay. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye, Brenda. Bye, Laura.